one more NSL talk before we get going to the award ceremony. And this time the victims are SDC Rhythm XP. And um, I think we will start um, the conversation with the celebrity and team captain of the weekend, Mr. Tiago Gomez. Tiago, you are famous, I hear. How did you are famous, I know that anyway, but how did, what, what's the story behind that? I I have no idea. I was expecting you to tell me. Someone called me Tiago the Famous, and I'm not sure what you make of it. I'm a little concerned, actually. I'm, I, I, it doesn't sound like it's a good thing. But as the team captain, you should actually kind of be informed about any um, happenings. Or maybe that's why. Maybe because I'm the team captain for the... We consider this meet the end of a training camp that we just had in Sebastian. And since we alternate the captainship, I happened to be the last captain, <laughs> so basically I'm the captain for the meet. Sure so I think that makes me automatically awesome. famous. So who, yeah. who is the actual boss in the team? I think she's probably on the other uh, side yeah, there. Let's, 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 let's <laughs> she's female. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> okay. A, a brief summary of the competition. It was probably, it's kind of tough, I guess. You know, the, the 26 and 26.6 and 26.1 and all those kind of incredible score sounds so overwhelming yeah. how how is it <laughs> you always say that it's, but i yeah. don't think i've ever felt overwhelmed <laughs> no uh, okay hi i'm going to respond for jeanette or jeanette could respond <laughs> but boss, so yeah, yeah, okay, yes <laughs> no no no. It, oh, i think when like we we did our best meet average um ever so uh yeah, that's not overwhelming that feels good <laughs> Can't. Yeah, I'm just saying it just looks over me from the inside. I know you're a smart guy, so you're evaluating it by yourself you now from a different perspective. And um, how, how was it uh, from your perspective? Yeah, as Steve said, it was great. Like our, our previous best average with rhythm was a 21.8. We did a 22.4. Um, there's a lot of stuff that was really great in this meet. It's really easy to see where we need to improve, and we're very early in the season with this lineup. so. I think it's great. The potential is huge with this team, so I'm excited. Now, I'm really curious. I'm going to forward almost the same question to Chris now. Was that also a record average for you, actually? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really went there, Chris. <laughs> yeah, That's really? Like, we thanks. had to go there? You don't know the answer. Um, I feel good. Yeah, does, <laughs> don't you have this on somewhere in, in the archives? I'm pretty sure I you have it on the archives because sure it. it's the only way I can get to the website because I can't get to the normal website. Oh, you're not oh I went there. Um, no, it's not. Uh, however, uh, I see a lot of potential. Um, I think uh, the team where we've started with 100 training jumps, uh, I'm actually extremely happy. Um, it just keeps every time we do a training camp, every time we come to a competition, uh, it solidifies uh, my decision to join these guys. Um, they are doing all the right things. They've been doing all the right things, and I'm just hoping to contribute to that. And uh, I don't see any reason that we can't take it to where we need to. Excellent, Alex. Did we lose any points out the door? <laughs> yeah, actually, Kurt, I did lose some points, <laughs> um, and uh, that was. Also trying to figure out this team, figure out equipment. Um, I'm very new to this lineup. I'm one of the newest members along with Chris. We all started at the same time, and we do have only 100 jumps together so far. Um, but there were some things that I, that I learned in this meet um, as far as flying different than how I've been even training. Uh, I learned a lot from watching a lot of the other guys' videos too, and we'll continue to do that throughout the season and hopefully just keep, keep improving. Just like every camp, I keep improving. Sounds great. Yeah, I almost forgot it was your first competition with the team, actually, yeah, right? Okay. Well, I take that. No, I cannot take it back anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good I job. Good job. Anyway, you know, the, the, the average is on your account, too. So, that, you know, the record average. Um, so what, what's happening from here on? I, I just heard a conversation about the World Cup. Possibly, Tiago, team captain, you're in charge for the schedule, I guess. 
Uh, I have no idea what. World Cup? No, <laughs> this is new information to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys, please keep me informed. <laughs> for the future. I thought you were captain. <laughs> can, any, can anybody uh, update uh, Thiago, please, on your plans? Uh, I, I seem to know more than, than your team captain does. So. No way more than me. Uh, short term plans are we've got about a week and a half, two week break. Um, and then we meet back up in North Carolina for some training and coaching. And then uh, we head over to Bedford for the challenge. Um, beyond that, we haven't. We have our training schedule set. The Judy came to us last night and mentioned something about uh, a competition in Czech that they're changing from the European Championships to the uh, to a World Cup. Um, and she 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 suggested uh, that we take a look at going. Uh, we haven't had time to even discuss it yet. So um, obviously, it would be uh, a great competition, and it would be a chance for us to be on the world stage again but uh, we've got our training schedule set and our competition schedule set so we're going to have to really evaluate whether it's something that, that fits into that. Well um, thank you very much guys, uh, congratulations again to the record um, average performance and, and keep going um, and we'll see you then in a few weeks in Bedford.